Good day, friends. Good day, humans. <laughs> so you made it. You made it to the next level. Well, questioning of what? Next level of better life? Maybe next level of your future achievements that you actually all listed out in a old year, coming into the new year, hoping there will be change. Well, it will be, <laughs> but only if you change or if you decide that the change that you want to see outside will happen first within you. It's a very heavy subject, so I'll start with a little, very nice, like, New Yearly kind of Christmassy story. We have a little flock of sparrows that are coming right into the apartment where we live, Denise and I on a daily basis, a couple of times a day. She's talking to them, feeding them. Yet now she's quite busy doing something outside of the apartment. In the morning she feeds them, but through the day they cannot actually feel her energy, so they're coming closer to me. Sometimes sitting on the computer, pooping on my keyboard. Today I spend an extra hour in bed watching the videos. Yet suddenly I hear a commotion in the kind of lower part and we have a very tiny stairs going to the, the bedroom and uh, the bathroom. Very narrow, very claustrophobic. And then I kind of, I paused what I was watching and I just peek around and I can see the, a little birdie comes in right in my bedroom and we kind of recognize him, we call him Dot, not Dot Com but Dot only because he has a very specific character on his uh, chest, nice black dot. So he was kind of, you know, not perplexed, but a little bit kind of worried why I'm not coming down. Where is his next, uh, you know, food or crumbs? Or just like, you know, a good word that's coming from me. Flying around and what I'm wondering, like, okay, so maybe he get lost. So I'm asking, no, he just want to say hi. So he goes a little bit buzzing around, goes on the TV, poops on the TV, goes on the top of the cabinets, goes on the top of the door, flies into the, the bathroom, comes back and then goes towards out, let's say towards the window. But the curtains were full, like not only fully like open, so I opened them all. So he goes in and then goes, sits on the top of the windows because it's kind of half open and still doesn't want to go out so I'm wondering like okay so do you want me to watch together yeah sure I start playing and go out for maybe 30 seconds and goes again like buzzing around on the top of the cabinet on the TV so okay let's see what's going on so I open the window more open the curtains more hoping it'll just you know maybe he get lost in all this process of trying to find me and eventually buzzing around I opening the door I closing the other door so he can just be directed into one spot going through the window out I felt a little bit of you know anxiety of him the way when you see when they start pooping too much or too often they're usually perplexed or a little bit scared so eventually he flew out and to me it was a nice, let's say, 2018, a gift from the nature. Because I will deliver you today a nice little speech that it's not nice at all. What and how we have been hmm, brainwashed 
programmed, mind controlled, and so on, with the tools that they were not good for us. They were presented as the very good ones. They will give us such a, you know, connections into the world. You know already what I'm talking about. So title. Dopamine, the fake book's agenda, or the Facebook's agenda, programming and rewiring your mind to become a perfect slave. Digging deeper into the, the Facebook patents, technology, what is all behind, who created it, who patented it, who owns the present let's all technology that has been implemented in many other social networks yet some of these social networks don't care much about the patent patenting office because we actually remembering who was uh, uh, one of the clerks in patent office in uh, Austria one of so-called inventors you know him under name of Alberto Einstein, the dude who stole the most of the patents from Nikola Tesla. So, cheers to Einstein and his treacherous behavior. That all this really brilliant patent is supposed to end up in the hands of the people. End up in the corporate aristocracy of some of these creatures like one of the creation was a Facebook so cheers cheers to your demise because this is really what's coming now so Facebook was created as a mind control technology initially named in 90s it's called fake sorry face mash so it was like two conspicuous so because when you mashing somebody's face it's actually you actually doing a lot of you know like mashed potato kind of result so I rename it it'll be like a fake squash so they changed their mind as well to call it fake books and split this into Sorry, I'm using always fake because to me it's absolute fakery. So it's Facebook. I'm referring to the Facebook social networking conglomerate. So fake books are actually when you're booking somebody, what are you doing? When you're booking a conference room, when you're booking a play, when you're booking a player, when you're booking a person who did something wrong. So what they've done, they actually captured your face. Very simple. And it's all in the name and it's all in the title. As always, I'm referring, just have to be very, very diligent what these creatures are saying through their words. As Denise is always referring, what they are referring, what they are actually talking through the legal language, how they are deceiving us and actually disclosing everything what they're doing. So go back to fake books. You'll find in my blog a video where these ex, two ex-executives from the Facebooks, not Zuckerberg, one Indian guy, one very white guy, so-called youngish, you know, but very, you know, arrogantly talking and disclosing how they don't agree what Facebook was doing to people and what it was actually producing, what it has been initially set up as. And now they are kind of spilling the beans, but you don't really know for who to save you to get out of this so-called mind programming tool or for their own salvation. This is a very old technique. In the Bible, they did the same thing. They actually put everything there, what they've done with Jesus, how they've 
you know, enslave humanity through the fake religion. And now you have a fake books. Some kind of fake, but very, very real mind control technology. They just put your mind into the mindset of having more likes. So you help put the most beautiful picture of yours or of anything, doesn't matter. Kitties, dogs, stupid stuff. And you have 3000 likes of your 3000 friends. Really? So what does it producing in you? You're waking up in the middle of the night to check your messages. Who liked your last post? This is the addiction problem of our humanity that where we end up really being slide into a level of total slavery, of total retardedness, without even noticing it. How many, let's say, inventions, true inventions, that will help people around come from the addictees or the people who are addicts in any kind of ways? Drugs, alcohol, what they look to you. They are pretty much zombie land. They are on the medications in the last 20 years. What kind of creative work these creatures did? None. So this is where this technology was leading you into. And when you think that these are real people, like Zuckerbergs and the rest of the Kellys and the rest of the so-called team of the Facebook, even if they are not part of the CEOs or executive branch they are still very much deeply involved because they were actually let go from Facebook on purpose to disclose what they were doing. Otherwise, this is so much against humanity. This is so much against a creator's free will because we did not willingly accept it to be mind controlled through the stupid tools. And now they are telling us and they're hoping nobody will say a word. So I tell you, fuck off, Facebook, and all your ex-executives and all the present executives. We will disclose you, one after the other. And we will shut you down. I get my access back to the Facebook because they blocked me, deleted my account, suddenly it's reappeared. And it's saying it has been hijacked. So, sure. I'll accept it, not, but I will play the game. So if you check my Facebook now, I'm putting that I'm deleting my account on the March 23, 2018. Why is that? Because it's my birthday, so I want to give, give myself, a, let's say, a freedom of from the phrase Facebook. As well, I'm giving you a notice that Complete Facebook will be shut down May the 5th, 2018. So there will be no more, you know, addiction kind of notices. Where are you going to go? For your social network uh, fix. You have to find some new stuff. But hopefully some of these new stuff will really keep it clean that you can be the one who can choose what can be posted and it will be posted to everybody and it will not reflect on your so-called social status if you're on Twitter doing anything against uh, uh, Clintons they shut you down so who are they? it's not Zuckerberg it's not uh, CEO of uh, Google Schmidt or ex-CEO of Google it is the machine. It is the dark AI that sits behind. So these are just like robotic figures like Schmitz or Zuckerbergs who are not even born like, let's say, normal humans. Or if they were born in, let's say, 50s or 60s, they've been hijacked with very, very nasty entities who are controlling them. 
let's say, go back to Zuckerberg. He owns, with the Kelly together, 46 Facebook patents. They are, to me, I mean, inventing. If you like something, you put this protocol. If you don't like something, you put that protocol, and they make this a patent. So once when they claim it, they have a right to charge everybody and anybody else who do the similar things, let's say, on the internet platform without even using any of these like really very retarded technology. But it's just a matter of patenting in the right moment. So we go deeper. We uncover another layer of I mean, transgression against humanity where your free will is totally erased. It's who owns Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg name, Zuckerberg Stronem, Stro, uh, Stroman name, who owns Zuckerberg's all the patents. A deeper digging brings you to Vanguard. Recently, the Vanguard CEO is gone. Basically, start running because Trump comes on 21st of December of 2017 with the executive order they will start freezing every single asset that it was manipulating humanity in any freaking way in all the ways if you've been part of this dark agenda not only deep space a deep uh, state within let's say the congress and the white house but especially on the corporate level they are totally fucked or this so-called dark AI that was controlling a couple of hundred of mega corporations who own pretty much all of it on this planet. It's shut down on the 21st of December. So reason why they are running so fast is because Trump is start arresting them, start putting them in Guantanamo Bay and some other camps that you will be hmm, very soon informed it'll be a news media coming to these camps and seeing who's arrested there why they say 15 percent of the senators they work they work in the u.s congress will not keep will not be coming back after these so-called holidays they have a permanent holiday <laughs> in the orange suits in Guantanamo Bay. So Guantanamo Bay as a prison is not shutting down, it's actually expanding. It will hold probably about 40,000 creatures. And they will be prosecuted pretty much with the military precision on the military basis, uh, military basis uh, court. Reason why? because some of these who are in the orange suits now are the judges inside the United States. They were actually keeping all these bankers and corporate so-called CEO hybrid leaders in power. Then they can manipulate, they can really take all the money away from the, the US people or pretty much world people and use it for their own sinister plots to build underground the uh, bunkers or uh, traveling uh, uh, facilities in billions and billions of dollars of your money. And they're pretending that there is a lack of chicken meat or whatever crops because, again, Monsanto did something that he should. Yes, why did you allow it? Because you did not know. Now, with the Facebook, go back and close this. They are absolutely fucked with this. Even with their own little disclosures of what they were doing, how they were actually hooking people up into the Facebook. So, join me and delete your accounts. Absolutely delete them. Don't worry, you'll be finding a, do, a new and much more advanced information streams than was a Facebook because Facebook 
was a quick fix to keep you in total and perpetual slavery.